Hello friends! On this first week of Easter, we continue to rejoice over the risen Lord because He lives in us and among us. I'm Sister Rosalie for the Gospel Power of Today. Jesus said to His disciples, Very truly I tell you, Servants are not greater than their masters, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture, The one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am He. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives him who sent me. We should not be surprised that even at the peak of the Easter season, Many of the gospel selections proclaimed during the Eucharist recount those events that preceded Calvary. They remind us that the joy and triumph of the Messiah's resurrection are inseparable from his torture and death by crucifixion. Today's gospel brings us back to the scene of the Last Supper and foot washing and puts us in touch again with that self-emptying love exercised through service. Since the value manifested in this act of Jesus is countercultural, even scandalous, we need to be told again and again how blessed are those who take up this value and apply it in their actual life situations. The love of Jesus lives on in these believers whose witness of life proclaims to the world that the Lord is truly alive. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we believers are your body, through whom you continue to be present in time and space. Let your values live on in us so that your light may banish the lingering darkness in our world. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs> 